Hello, hello and a uh, very good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So how's everyone feeling on this hazy afternoon? Feeling okay? Yes, very good now. Oh, lots of uh, huge crowd out here today. Okay, welcome to the Durham Bird Park and welcome to the Kings of the Sky show. By the way, my name is Chandra. Now, birds of prey have captivated men with their strength, speed and agility. In just a couple of moments, there will be birds flying all around this arena and some right by you. Would you like that? Yes, okay. Now, before all that can take place, we will need your help. When the birds are flying really low above you, please do not try to reach out and touch them. This is for your safety and for the bird's safety as well. There's a Brazil eagle on my arm as the American bald eagle. Her name is Susie, by the way. Now, bald eagles can be found in North America. And some of you might be wondering, why are they called the bald eagles when they actually do have feathers on their head? Well, basically, the word bald is an older English word for white head. So that's how they got the name. Now, these birds build really huge nests. If you're wondering how big the nest could get, Take a look at the pond behind me, that would give you a rough idea. And the world record for the heaviest bald eagle nest weighs an impressive two tons. That's right, two tons. <laughs> Not joking, you can Google it, right? Uh, the main source of diet for these birds consists of fish, uh, but they're also known to go for smaller birds and mammals as well. By the way, lovely Susie over here is 18 years old this year. Thank you very much, girl. Let's give a big round of applause, everyone. What type of a bird of prey would you associate with a carcass? Vulture, very good. So everyone, let's welcome Titan. Ladies and gentlemen, Titan, our turkey vulture. Our turkey vultures can be found in the Americas and they are pretty abundant in the wild. Close to about 10 million of them. As I mentioned earlier on, they have a very keen sense of smell. So usually the turkeys are the first to reach a carcass. They may be the first, but at times they might not be able to consume the food as yet because unlike their larger counterparts, turkey vultures do not have strong and powerful beaks to rip apart very tough meat. So they will have to rely on larger vultures to help them out. And here's a very interesting fact about the turkey vulture. They have got very acidic stomach acid almost zero pH level. So you can imagine how powerful their digestive system is, okay? Thank you very much, Titan. Time for you to head back home as well. All the way back to the X, see you later. A round of applause for Titan, everyone. Thank you. Out ...has got excellent sense of hearing. Let me give you a hint. It's a nocturnal bird of prey. Gonna make a wild guess? Owl. Are you able to spot one around you? Look around you. Where? Up there, probably it's a pigeon. <laughs> we got one right up there. I think he's going to make his way down very shortly. Uh, gentle reminder to everyone: please remain seated and be as quiet as possible, so you can get to experience the owl's silent flight. Here he comes. Oh, very low above your heads. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, unlike other birds of prey. Owls have this very soft edge at the tip of their feathers, so the sound frequency created by the wing flaps will be absorbed by those feathers. Well, that's not the only reason, there's another reason too. What do owls mainly hunt for at night? Anyone knows? Mice and rats, rodents. Rodents come out at night and rodents have an acute sense of hearing. So the owl has to be very quiet as well, right? By the way, this is Balang. Balang's a Malay fish owl, and Malay fish owls can be found throughout Southeast Asia. This particular species has evolved to hunt for fish, so that makes them very unique. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Balang was actually uh, born and raised, has to raised right here in the Jerome Bird Park at our breeding and research center, which is located right back there. Uh, he's about 10 years old this year. Hello, let us 
right over here. Hi, tell everyone, what's your name, where you're from? You know which country? Or which state? I'm Lauren and I'm from Singapore. Lauren from Singapore. Okay, Lauren, what's going to happen is we're going to show everyone how agile and maneuverable uh, Brahmini kites are in the wild. These birds can practically snatch food from most surfaces. And to demonstrate that, now what's going to happen is I'm going to skewer a piece of food to the stick right over here. Welcome, Rado! Oh, Rado! Here he comes! Okay, very quickly, we're going to try this one more time. One more time, all right? Really enjoy this treat right back there. Come on, boy. Come on. Here it comes again. Welcome our team of Romney guys. Oh, here they come. Okay, what's going to happen is I'm going to toss food high up in the air. We've got two of them out here, all right? Let's see. I'm going to do some really high throw. Let's see if our kites are able to catch them. We're going to start off with this boy over here first. One more making its way out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That was one, two, oh, excellent. Okay, keep your eyes on that one. One last throw coming up for that guy right up there. Yeah. Oh, well done. A round of applause for our guys, everyone. Thank you. Eagle. No, actually, I'm scared right now. <laughs> You're scared right now. Yeah. Do you want to try this? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll help you overcome the fear, okay? Thank now, what's going to happen is we're going to get a bird of prey to fly down and land on your arm. But before all that takes place, what I need you to do is put this glove on on your left arm, make sure it fits very well. Okay? Now once you're comfortable, face the audience and stretch your arm out to the side like that, this way. Okay, very good. Now guy three, this is the most important part. When the bird lands on your arm, you have to keep very still. Because she's a pretty huge bird of prey, about this size. No problems? Okay, yeah. You nervous? Yeah, <laughs> I am. Okay, so what's the most important thing? Do not move your arm. Because if you move your arm, instead of landing here, she's going to land on your head. And trust me, that's very scary. You don't want a bird of prey with sharp talons landing on your head. Okay? All you need to do is just relax. I'll be here to help you out. Okay? Just keep very still. There you go. Okay, looks like our volunteer is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's welcome Hazel. Can you see her? Oh, well done. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Not too bad, right? There you go. Okay, now we're going to watch Hazel make a short flight to one of our trainers back there. We've got DX making his way out. Thank you, DX. Excellent. Okay, guys, three, relax. Take a look at Hazel. Do you know what type of a bird of prey she is? A voucher, very good. To be exact, Hazel back there. This time, stretch out the arm in front of you like that. Very good. Okay, call for her name. Hazel. 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 There you go. Nice. Slowly swing your arm around to the side. Make it slightly lower. And pose for a nice picture. Just hang on to this mic, man. Who's, uh, who's taking photos of you? Your <laughs> Hello, sir. You got some nice photos. Am I in the picture too? Very good. Guy three, yeah. is Hazel heavy? Yes. Yes? She is. How many kilos do you think she weighs? Mm, I think maybe three, four kilos? Three to four kilos. I she's, think so. She's a little bit angry with you. Look up all the way back to the X. Round of, round of applause for Hazel, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Let's welcome Yenjis. Gentlemen, Himalayan griffin vultures, they can be found in the higher regions of the Himalayas and during winter, young vultures are known to fly down south. When they do so, some of them tend to go on a course and they end up lost in different parts of Asia. 
is like Ganges, he was found to be very weak and dehydrated right here in Singapore in Orchard Road. That's right, this was back in 2005. Uh, the authorities contacted us, we managed to rescue him and nursed him back to good health. Don't you think he looks pretty healthy right now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. When one vulture descends upon a carcass, more will follow. Joining us in the arena right now, a group of vultures, and I'm going to start introducing them very shortly. We'll start off with this big boy right over here. I'm going to get him on my arm. There you go. Whoa, look at that. The Cenarius vulture from Europe and Asia. Now, along with the Cenarius vultures, we also have the smaller grey ones. Those are the African white backed vultures, and they can be found in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, Vultures are extremely important birds to our environment because they help to control the spread of contagious diseases by cleaning up animal carcasses. Unfortunately, the world's vulture population is rapidly declining in the wild and a lot of conservation effort is needed to ensure that their numbers thrive again. Now, the world's vulture population, especially in Asia and in Africa, has depleted a drastic amount, right? Drastic as in 1% left. That's how bad it is. Uh, over here in the German Bird Park, we recently partnered with BirdLife International to help conserve three critically endangered Asian vulture species in Cambodia. This would be the Asian white back vulture, the red-headed vulture, and also the slender bill vulture. Uh, this conservation project would not have been possible without your support, so please <laughs> give yourselves a round of applause, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, he's being very sneaky right now. <laughs> There's no more food. There's no more food. You can ask him for food. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sure all of you would agree that they certainly deserve and merit the title, The King of the Sky. Thank you. All of you are more than welcome to come forward, ask questions regarding the birds you saw on the show. And before you go, please remember to take all your belongings with you. You have been a great audience, everyone. Have a great day in the park. Thank you very much and bye-bye.